real quick before I jump into it, if you guys want to check it out, I might be streaming on Twitch even as of right now when the video goes live. If you guys want to come say hi, hang out, whatever it may be, and watch some Blackout or whatever we may be playing, link is down there in the description below. But that said, back to the regular scheduled content. This week in Black Ops 4 is one of two weeks of January in which it's going to be a rather big week for stuff to look out for and some things that are actually coming to the table here. So today we're going to be talking about 14 different things here that you can look out for in Black Ops 4 this week alone, and there's a lot to cover. So that said, let's just jump right into it. First thing up on deck we end up having is a title update, update 1.11 coming tomorrow for Black Ops 4. Seemingly on all platforms, PC might get the short end of the stick here and again be delayed by 24 hours. That's something that's happened in the past, but I don't know if that's going to happen as of tomorrow. So truth be told, it could be all three, it could be two, but Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and hopefully PC will end up having a download for tomorrow. That's something that the sizing of that is yet to be determined, but it will be something that will be at least substantial enough that it requires you to download something instead of just it rebooting your game. But that update of 1.11 is going to be something that houses all of what we're talking about here within this video, so it's definitely the biggest part about what you can look out for this week in Black Ops 4. But underneath that, one of the first things that will probably be changed out is a playlist update along with that. So of course, it will refresh automatically once you end up having that downloaded. You won't be kicked out of your game at 1 p.m. to simply restart your playlist. It'll just come along with that update itself. But potentially this may include something brand new for multiplayer in the way of a brand new game mode. But when we talk about Blackout and also Zombies, we'll get to that in just a few seconds. That actually is going to have some new stuff for this playlist update as well. But Treyarch mentioned there's a lot of cool stuff coming in terms of multiplayer playlists. They just haven't given any specific details. So that's something that, of course, will be awesome to jump on tomorrow and see hopefully what changed and what kind of cool new stuff awaits us at that point. Third up on this list, we're going to be talking about multiplayer in particular with some of the regular playlists because DLC maps are now actually going to be in the regular rotation. As of today, Monday, whenever we actually record and talk about this, but as of tomorrow, it's going to change. As of today, there is still that separate playlist for multiplayer DLC maps. You have Elevation and Madagascar in their own separate DLC playlist, and that's the only place that you can play them. But come tomorrow, they'll be in every single playlist imaginable. So you'll be in regular core TDM, hardcore free for all, hardcore domination, domination, search and destroy, all that kind of stuff. Any game mode that you want, it's going to be now playable with the brand new maps in that rotation. The one thing that I will say to be conscious of is this might skew your lobbies a little bit and you may see more hardcore players more often than say the Christmas noobs you may have been running into or lower levels as of recently. Because more than likely those lower levels probably won't be as inclined to buy the DLC as compared to the more diehard players. So that might be something you might be thrown into matches more so with those players that are definitely on the grind more so than just the Christmas noobs. So bear that in mind if you do have the DLC tomorrow it might actually skew your matchmaking perspective a little bit. Our number four on this list will sort of serve as a transition from multiplayer into some blackout stuff because it is in both but it's quite possible that with tomorrow's title update we end up having a ladder fix coming. We talked about this as of a video a couple of days ago but this is something that if you have a ladder in front of you and you jump and sprint to it there's a chance that you might slide all the way down whether you're at an elevated height or not that's something that really will dictate how much damage you take but if you hit the ladder are dead on you should be able to still just jump and climb up but if you hit it off to the side slightly you'll slide all the way down so that was something that caused a lot of problems primarily in blackout because there are ladders of much greater height in that game mode than compared to multiplayer but this is something that the community has been dealing with for actually quite some time now at this point but Treyarch detailed that there was a fix in the works here coming for this and that hopefully it should be coming as of tomorrow's update so keep that in mind but transitioning now into some blackout content talking about that playlist update coming back to that one we are going to have a blackout limited time mode coming tomorrow this is something that Treyarch detailed there are two limited time modes coming as of the next couple of weeks and so therefore we have this unannounced blackout limited time mode coming tomorrow and while I very much so enjoyed some of the stuff we got to preview back in the beta for blackout like fast collapse like close quarters frenzy I kind of hope it's something brand new. I think that'd be really cool to see something of a 50v50 team-based thing or something completely out there, maybe snipers only or something like that. But I kind of want to see something brand new outside of what we already saw because in the beta, we saw three limited time modes in a seven-day span. 
but we only saw one limited time mode since the launch of Black Ops 4, and it was a repeat, so I don't know if we'll be getting another repeat here or what's going to be happening, but a limited time mode is on the way for Blackout starting tomorrow. Additionally, in Blackout, there very well may be a concussion nerf coming as of tomorrow's update. This one is a little more unconfirmed because it was simply mentioned in passing as feedback is being noted, but that's something that I'm very hopeful this actually will be coming as of tomorrow. The concussions are probably one of the biggest things that I absolutely absolutely cannot stand in blackout and I love that mode to death but whether that be a nerf to the concussions in terms of what it will do because it limits you in terms of movement the ability to fire back and just the duration of how long it lasts being completely blinded all three of those factors together make it a quite deadly thing or whether or not it's something that it just sort of boost the effectiveness of, say, reinforced or there's more drop rates of that perk available. We don't exactly know, but that's something that definitely is promising and I'm very much so looking forward to coming this week in this update. The biggest thing, though, out of Blackout here for this week is the confirmed looting UI that is now redesigned for consoles. If you guys have gone over to any death stashes or death bags on PS4 and Xbox One in particular, PC actually has a beautiful setup for looting, but on console it is something that is so clunky currently, but it's going to be changed to a more so grid style where you can preview 10 items at the minimum at a time whenever you're ending up looting and therefore you can just go and navigate much quicker. They haven't announced yet if it's two or three rows of five, so 10 or 15 items that you'll be able to view right up front, but it will definitely be a much better way to loot and I'm super excited for this one. I'm finally not going to have to stand there thinking I'm going to die for 15 seconds while I loot somebody's bag, but regardless, moving over into our next topic of discussion, kind of again bridging the gap between Blackout and now Zombies. We're going to be getting more information on the Blackout and Zombies Mastery camos, along with more integration in terms of Mastercraft and Reactive camos as well in both of those subsequent modes. Now, as it stands right now, we ended up getting, of course, camos in Blackout about a month back at this point now, and then Zombies has had its armory in which you can use Zombies camos as well, but we didn't actually have Mastery camos for either of those, and while nothing is specifically detailed just yet as to what it may entail, how much cross-pollination of camos you can use for different modes, and when it is slated for release as of later this month towards the tail end probably right when whenever we get league play as well launching in full but that's also something that we are told we're going to be getting more information about it this upcoming week as well so while we won't have it released we'll at least have a little bit more understanding as to what to expect in the upcoming weeks but that said jumping over into our zombie side well we got the 115 day celebrations coming up. Tomorrow is January 15th, or in the Gregorian calendar, 115, which again is element 115 from zombies. So big correlation day here with that, a sort of holiday for zombies fans, but that's gonna be coming along with a bunch of different stuff as of this update. The smaller things to kick it all off is double XP, double weapon XP, and double Nebulium Plasma starting tomorrow, going for a couple of days within zombies. So if you have anything you need to rank up or you just wanna grind out some Nebulium Plasma, that's a great way to do so over the next coming days. Additionally, we'll end up seeing three epic elixirs added, plus current elixir balancing coming with tomorrow's update as well. So if there's anything bothering you, it might be a little adjusted, and also we have three new ones coming to the list as well. But the big thing out of this in terms of the 115 day celebrations is the introduction of gauntlets, which is going to be challenge-based sort of unique run-throughs of each map. Right now, we don't have a gauntlet for every single map, but we're going to be starting with Voyage of Despair, in which the first challenge here for this one, the first gauntlet, is called unsinkable. It's a 30 round challenge with unique rules for each and again this will carry over for 30 rounds in every single gauntlet whenever they're later introduced but you're going to be on your toes the entire time. The cool part about these is that they're static and each unique rule set for each round is going to be constant for that specific gauntlet. So you'll be able to speed run them once you start to get the hang of it and you start to memorize what's going to be up next. And this also leads me to believe that we'll see multiple gauntlets per map like what we've previously discussed here on the channel. So interested to see how that all plays out as well. Now, rounding out the zombie stuff is something that I don't know if it'll happen, but I'm genuinely curious to see if we'll get a surprise drop of a zombies map for 115 day. Being that it is the one time of the year where it does coincide with it, because there is no September 35th for 935 or anything like that, it's the one time of the year we kind of have a celebration for zombies, so wouldn't it make sense to drop a zombies map or something like that? I think that'd be really cool in terms of a free content. With the rumor though that Nuketown is going to be the next map up on deck and it's going to be a Black Ops Pass map, I don't exactly know if that's a viable option, but it would be, I think, really cool to maybe get a remaster of some sorts, like how we saw maybe a redesign of Firing Range and Seaside and Multiplayer, but instead a redesign of an older map that technically wouldn't be new to define PS4 exclusivity. 
You know what I mean? I think that'd be really cool, but I don't know if it'll happen, so maybe just keep your eye out for that in case it does. But moving over into some other things we'll get some information on here with this is, of course, League Play. That's something that we're told we're going to be getting some more information here on this. Treyarch, if I'm not mistaken, has a stream scheduled for some time tomorrow, though. If they're talking about all the update contents and all that kind of stuff for 115 Day, I don't know how much of it they'll set aside for League Play, but they stated that this update sets the stage for League Play's launch by the end of January. So, we'll not only probably have some of the assets in the game for League Play as is, if not all of them already, but we may get some more clarification on how and when things will be happening, either in the patch notes or again, if that stream does actually happen as well. Outside of that, the only things that really come down to it are some shop stuff, which will refresh as they normally do. We'll get the shop items refreshing on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. But one big thing to look out for is one thing in particular that I am very much so looking forward to, the Vapor Vampire variant that we saw all the way back in the trailer of Operation Absolute Zero. To my knowledge, it's the only thing that was previewed as sort of a little flashing image or a preview of items in the Operation that we've yet to see at this point. And being that we're past now the halfway point of Operation Absolute Zero and the first title update since then, it would make sense to add that into the game files, let alone add it into the special orders as well. And unfortunately, I think that's where it's going to be. I think it's going to be a pay to access thing like we saw the Valkyrie being with the Paladin and also the Ruin uniform, but that's where I imagine that being next. So that might be added in tomorrow and that's going to round out the things to look out for this week in Black Ops 4. That said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What are you looking forward to the most in Black Ops 4? Are you looking forward to the new Blackout content? Are you looking forward to 115 Day and the celebration for zombies there within? Are you looking forward to maybe some multiplayer surprises? Whatever it may be, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Black Ops 4, multiplayer, Blackout, zombies. Zombies, we got you covered with the best of updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. We got you covered. So if any of that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on both those. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever that may be, link is down there in the description below. But let's send out of the way. Thank you guys all so much for watching. My best press. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.